Hey guys, Anthony 4 before Diesel. Um, there's always a question to be answered. So, look, you know, for those guys doing injectors that have already done a set, this is more for them. Um, probably for people that are going to have a crack that haven't done them yet either. Have you ever sort of, you know, you're trying to get the injector alignment right and you're using the return line, because that's what you pretty much do, leave it all loose, use the return line to line it all up, works pretty well, usually. The problem you have is, when uh, somebody's been in there, they've tightened the injectors down slightly out of alignment, and then they've tightened up the return line onto the injectors, which will slightly bend and manipulate into place. Then you do the job, you go back in there and you're using that return line, and it's not quite right, or if you don't get the bolt central in the hole, it's not quite right. And then when you put it back together, the pipes don't quite line up straight through those seals. I've, you know, people have had cars come in with bits cut out of the seals, those nozzle holder seals. Technicians have cut sections out to make the pipes fit. So that's just crazy. So just a little tip I use to make sure the alignment's right. Generally, I do pretty well. That's what I've done with this one, my usual system, just by eye and using the return line. This one was fairly original. I think it had been pulled apart before. So that's the good news. But in your case, you're gonna use the valve cover. I've got a spare valve cover here that I use to check the alignment and that's what I've done now. So with the caps on still, so there's no um, contamination to the injectors, as pictured here in the video, you can just sit that valve cover on. Like I said, lubricate those top seals over the um, solenoids there and it'll slip on and off really easy it's no trouble to put it on off so no silicon or anything like that we're just sitting it temporarily in place to check the alignment and that's what that's the easiest one to see there number one see how that the red caps dead set central in that hole that's telling your alignment spot on you're going to find a similar thing with these pretty well spot on once you get the stay in the way it's a bit hard to see but pretty well spot on and then i'm on an angle hard to do with the camera but look they're all spot on that's the idea, the cover checks it, so you can do this if you like, you can put the cover on. Again, like I've said in an earlier video, make sure the cover's clean and don't take the caps off the injectors. You don't want to be banging dirt, dust and sand around, falling in injectors. There's plenty of other places that can do that. I don't need to do it, you don't need to do it guys, so keep it clean. Make sure it's aligned like this, gently take the cover back off, and then you can torque it all down to spec. Triple check your work, make sure it's all done right and then you can finally put the cover on once and for all but you don't need to cover the whole gasket in um, silicon and mess it's just four prescribed dobs at the front here just each side of that hump and each side of the half moon at the other side four little dobs is all you need again hope for that's been a really informative video for you for me as soon as i've got the cover on i drop those uh, nozzle holder seals in place so that nothing falls into the injectors because the next step is putting the silicon on the um, on the head at those four places and then putting this cover on once and for all obviously after we've talked everything to spec don't forget that or you'll have massive fuel leak in the engine happy days all right guys hopefully that's helped so yeah